Hello everyone, my name is David Allison, and I'm the coordinator for the Bachelor of Computer Science program here at Conestoga, and I'd like to introduce you to the program. Um, computer science surrounds us in our daily lives. It impacts how we work and how we play and how we live our lives. Uh, and the Bachelor of Computer Science program is going to teach you the skills you need to pursue a career in this very exciting and, and incredibly varied uh, industry. Our four-year program includes three co-op work terms where you get to go out, um, get paid, work in industry, and get that real life experience that you need to uh, work with your skills and knowledge that you learn in the classroom. Uh, our program builds on the recognized foundations of computer science, uh, things like math and algorithms uh, and coding, uh, and teaches students knowledge and skills in areas such as software quality, uh, reliability, security, uh, emphasis on things like testing methodologies, uh, software project management, um, security and privacy uh, issues as well. We also are keeping an eye on the future. and It's a very fast moving industry. Uh, so we want to make sure that we uh, know where things are going. So when you begin your, your, your degree, uh, by the time you're done four years later, uh, you're still learning things that are relevant. Uh, so we'll be looking at things in, in the latest edges of computer science, things like uh, big data analysis, uh, cybersecurity, cloud computing, and the Internet of Things. So just some overall highlights of the program. Uh, those three paid co-op work terms are really a highlight of the program that you get to go out there uh, and learn um, in industry uh, from people that are, are doing the jobs that you hopefully want to get one day. Um, it's project-based learning, so we want to make sure that we uh, aren't just learning from textbooks and slides, uh, but that you're constantly creating and developing projects, both uh, individual and in groups. Uh, there's a capstone project at the end of uh, the program, so it's a four-year program. In that fourth year, there's a semester-long uh, project where you get to work uh, in a team to create a real product that you can demonstrate to industry and to your, your fellow students and to the school as a whole. Uh, we do focus on those emerging trends and the latest things in computer science as well, and there's lots of applied research opportunities uh, at the college for you to participate in as well. I'm just going to share a slide here for you, some more information. Uh, this program is build your, uh, bring your own device. Uh, so BYOD you'll hear a lot of, and that is where you want to uh, bring your own device to the program. Um, so your own laptop typically. You, so we want to make sure that that laptop meets your minimum requirements that we uh, set out for you. Uh, you do have to maintain your own laptop as well. So if it breaks or you lose it or whatever happens, um, it's on students to uh, maintain that and you want to make sure that you have a laptop ready for the first day of school uh, so you can we can hit the ground running there's only 14 weeks in the semester and we want to make sure that uh, you're ready to go right out of the gate uh, the minimum specs for this program uh, it's a windows uh, we, we recommend you get a windows machine okay uh, windows 10 uh, if you have an Apple device already, uh, it needs to run Windows on it. Okay, so there are there are tools out there, things like Parallels, um, that will allow you to do that. Um, and you can get a copy of Windows 10 uh, free from us at the college to put on your Apple device. Um, i5 processor or newer, 16 gigabytes memory is one I want to highlight. Uh, we do want to make sure that you have ample RAM. Uh, it is a program that we're going to be doing some complicated things uh, with computers, uh, so you want to make sure that you have that. Uh, a discrete graphics card with a minimum of two gigs of memory. Um, also solid state drive we highly recommend will make your computer much faster uh, even if it isn't the biggest hard drive in the world. Um, uh, that would be something I would definitely invest in. Um, screen size not super important you just want to make sure you can carry it around without hurting your back. Um, all the rest of it is sort of very much standard. That last one there, a lot of laptops don't come with the RJ45 jack anymore. Um, so you can get a USB dongle as well that will allow you to connect your laptop to a wired network um, just in case you need to download uh, some big files or we're doing something that requires a lot of speed, uh, wired connection might be the way to go. I just wanna give a quick tour of, uh, vir virtual tour of our campus for you. I'm going to switch over to my browser. So this is our brand new campus, um, our Waterloo campus as we call it. It's right in the city of Waterloo um, on University Avenue and uh, Weber is the main intersection if uh, you know anything about the city. Um, so it's a beautiful new building just opened recently, um, home to us and uh, culinary arts. 
right down this this avenue here it, that's uh, university avenue uh, that's where uh, Wilfrid Laurier University is uh, Waterloo University as well so it's a, it's a great corridor for innovation um, and, and education uh, and it, we could not be uh, set in a better location I don't think in in the country Here's the cafeteria, just a, a very popular area, of course. Um, lots of room for people to sit and eat. There's a little, that blue checkered wall right there. That's where the Tim Hortons is around that corner. That's also very popular. Um, just areas for people to uh, socialize and meet and, and, and uh, relax a bit. Those TVs there in the background uh, have game systems on them that you can play, ping pong table, things like that. Uh, in the back here in that blue, that's the little library area as well. And uh, here is a typical uh, bring your own device lab that you would be working in. Uh, so you can see the size of it, not a, a giant lab by any, by any means that you might see somewhere else. So it, they, they typically seat around 35 to 40 people, um, depending on the room. Um, but you would bring your own device, sit down, there's lots of uh, uh, plugs and uh, network cables there for you to connect into or network ports. Uh, you can see that there is projectors on every wall. So no matter where you're sitting, uh, you can see what the professor is doing as they as they walk around the room and teach. Um, but yeah, not every room is exactly the same, uh, but this is a, the type of thing that you can expect. Nice rooms, very nice to teach in, um, and very good to learn in as well. Careers, uh, things that you can pursue in Bachelor of Computer Science, as I mentioned, it's an incredibly varied industry. Um, you can end up almost anywhere. Um, but the, the sort of Typical jobs that you'd see, software developer, of course, sort of the, the, the main one that you would hear of, software designer, quality assurance analyst, um, uh, software security designer or developer, cybersecurity analyst, someone who looks for problems or looks to solve problems, business intelligence analyst, someone who, who looks to gather data from a business to see how they can improve the business or uh, solve business problems. Data scientists as well, lots of data out there that needs to be collected and learned from and sorted through and gain knowledge from. So I just wanted to answer some frequently asked questions that I get a, uh, a lot here at the college. Um, so what's the difference between a college BCS and a university BCS? Uh, at Conestoga, we do pride ourselves in our polytechnic approach to education. Uh, so this approach emphasizes uh, applied hands-on learning. Um, so we do have a more personal uh, experience that you would get here with smaller class sizes. Our first intake uh, is going to be around 70 students. Um, much smaller than you would get at a uh, university with you know, hundreds of students in the first year. Um, our tu tuition fees, of course, are smaller than a university, which is always a bonus, uh, particularly these days. Uh, but our Bachelor of Computer Science is government approved. It meets all the ministry standards, the same standards that university bachelors have to meet. So it's, at the end of the day, it's the same degree uh, that you would get at uh, a university. The mission requirements uh, for the BCS at Conestoga, um, you need to have the Ontario Secondary School Diploma um, or equivalent uh, to that uh, with uh, 6U, uh, 4U or 4M courses, uh, including Eng 4U, any of the math, any of the 4U math, and then four additional courses. Um, the minimum average that was required is a 65, uh, but higher averages are required for admission due to competition, are often required for admission uh, due to uh, competition for available spaces in the program. Okay, but that 65 is the minimum bar you have to clear uh, to be looked at. Are there opportunities for graduate studies? Uh, yes. So graduates of this program um, will graduate with thorough knowledge in the field, as well as that co-op experience from those three co-op terms. So you are uh, definitely very well situated to, uh, to leave the program and get a job and begin working right away. But for those who are looking to pursue further education, um, you will have the opportunity to do that uh, in graduate studies in computer science and software engineering. Our degree can be considered just like any other university bachelor's degree for entry into a master's level study. So it's a, it's a true bachelor's um, that you would need to get into a master's uh, study. And we do have a number of articulation agreements with universities uh, worldwide as well. Are there pathways from other programs into the BCS? Um, so yes, there are. So perhaps uh, you are a graduate of Conestoga in one of our IT uh, or, or applied computer science uh, degrees or, or, or diploma programs. Um, there, 
the specific pathway for your program will differ depending on what that program is. But in general, our two-year diploma programs um, will be mapped into the BCS second year entry, while our three-year diploma programs can be matched, mapped into the BCS uh, third year entry. Uh, but for more details on that, you can email me um, and we can look at what your particular situation is. So you're currently a uh, CPA or an SCT student. Uh, can I be transferred into the BCS? Not currently. Uh, there's no spare capacity for that. Uh, so right now we're only considering uh, completed diploma uh, students uh, for pathway entry into the program. Um, any other cases will be eventually handled by prior learning assessment and credit transfer requests. Uh, but for right now, uh, just the completed uh, diplomas are, are pathwayed in. So what is applied research? I mentioned that at the beginning that we have a lot of applied research opportunities at the college for students to participate in. Uh, we do specialize in, in applied research projects that meet the needs of our industry and our community partners, as well as drive growth in our local and regional economies. So the difference between applied research is you are solving a business problem, you're creating a solution uh, for a problem, where traditional research is uh, you're out there theorizing about uh, a possible solution. You might write a paper on it, but you may not actually develop anything. It might just be an idea. Or applied research, you're definitely developing a product. You're, you're creating something um, where at the end of the, the project, you, you'd have a solution. You'd have a, a solution built that you can show. Uh, our current areas of focus at the college include uh, augmented reality and virtual reality, uh, training for industry. So instead of needing uh, a big piece of uh, industrial equipment, you can put on some goggles and uh, train in virtual reality or augmented reality. Uh, artificial intelligence machine learning for advanced e-waste recycling. So being able to uh, smartly sort uh, digital waste uh, to be better recycled and make for a greener planet. Cybersecurity is another area of research that we're, we are heavily invested in. Uh, precision agriculture, software solutions for supply chain and transportation logistics, and as well COVID-19 projects where we're investigating new manufacturing opportunities to address the PPE shortages um, exposed by the pandemic. How many hours outside of uh, my classes can I expect um, and can I work uh, at the same time as I'm uh, in the program? A very common question that we get as well. We recommend that you budget about two to three hours outside of class for every one hour that you're in class. Um, every student's going to need their own amount of time. Obviously, that's not a hard and fast rule, uh, but we encourage you to think about this sort of rule of thumb when you're planning your uh, semester and your years here at the college. We want you to think of it uh, as a full-time job. Uh, we understand that everybody's work and, and, and study balance is going to be different, okay? But we do recommend that you don't pursue more than sort of in that 10 to 12 uh, hours of work each week uh, in order for you to be successful in your studies. Uh, remember that we, we do refer to your course load as full-time studies for a reason. It is you, It should be your primary focus when you're in the program, and everything else should be secondary to that. Um, so that's my introduction to the program. Uh, if you have any further contact, uh, further questions, you can contact me. Um, my email is there on the screen that you can pause and write down. It's just dallison at Conestoga C. Don't forget the C at the end of Conestoga, .on.ca, and I can answer uh, any other questions you might have about the program. Uh, but it's a very exciting program. We are, are really looking forward to it, um, and we hope to see you in it, and I hope to see you at the college as well. Thank you, everybody.